Yeah, congratulations, 3 0 victory and a good three points as well. What was your assessment of that one? Um, yeah, really, really pleased because they've been in good form recently. A big, strong team. We looked at them set pieces. There was times they had seven in the box and. I think five of them are six foot three plus and we're not a massive team so we looked at that we did a lot of work on that yesterday um, but I thought we was well worthy to win I thought we limited them to very very little and, and for me that was our best defensive display of the season from front to back for throughout the game we were disciplined we were resilient we tracked runners we did our throw-ins right we, we got every part of our stuff off the ball and I just said to the lads in there that's the bedrock you know, we know we're good going forward, we know we can create chances, but that's got to be the bedrock. So I feel like most of the season we've been a little bit wishy-washy without the ball, even though we've had spells of being good with the ball. And uh, if we want to keep, you know, going on a run and keep a momentum going, we need, we need to do both. I was going to say a, a second clean sheet on the spin and, and that without Callum Howe as well, who obviously, you know, you say they're a big side. He's one of our best headers of the ball, isn't he, as well, and, and we dealt with that really well today. Yeah, Kells and Good are excellent at the back. Joey's come in at the end there and won a couple of really important headers. So, it, you know, it, it, it's everyone, you know, you, of course you need them players at the back to do their bits right, but everyone has to play a part from, from really running around, pressing, trying to lock them in one side through to, to the midfielders. Everybody's played a part and I felt all game like it was a performance that without the ball won us the game. We were really, really resilient and people might not see that. They think, oh, well, Eastley didn't produce much, but I thought we didn't let them produce much, even with 10 men. And our moments with the ball were really good and we probably could have scored a few more you know we had a few one-on-ones um, and you know that's got to be the bedrock and that's the challenge I've set to the boys now we've got another six games over the next three weeks and we've got to um, you know we've got to have that quality without the ball. I was gonna say you're almost taking questions out of my mouth I mean with 10 men as well you couldn't really notice much of a change could you and obviously to grab the third as well with only 10 men on the pitch I mean it stands as in good stead doesn't it? Yeah yeah we tweaked the shape then we, we went to a back five um, about 5-3-1 and just you know got our midfielders to release to their outside centre halves who we knew would step in so um, the boys did it really really well and like I say disciplined um, it became an attack v defence session there and we had to break and when we had our moments so I'm delighted with them it was a really good performance it's just now about how we try and you know when games come thick and fast if you can get a little bit of momentum and a good bit of form going then um, you can quickly find yourself in a, in a much better position in the league. Any say on sending off? Uh, I, I, it felt soft. I haven't really seen it back, you know. I, I think anywhere else, I don't think the second one really warrants a booking. It, it, it's not a kick off the ball. It's a, you know, a lean in to try and get a contact, and he's contacted the player as he's laid it off. The player's made a meal of it, and um, yeah, it, it's it's a soft booking, it's a soft second booking. But once you've been booked once, you have to tread the tread a fine line, and unfortunately, Clark, he's overstepped it. Shane for Clark, obviously, and ever present of the team, and obviously going into a, a congested run, isn't it? I mean, it's, it's more or less Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, yeah. Tuesday for a, a month straight. I mean, are these the sort of periods in the season that you relish as a manager? Yeah, they're good, providing you, provide you got the players fit. You know, Ozzy pulled out of training yesterday. Um, Callum Howe's obviously out two to four weeks, we think, with his with his knee. Joey Jones is just coming back fit and had sort of two weeks proper training. Um, so that's a blow. Uh, ben Coke is on four yellow cards, so he's he's sort of one away from a suspension. Now we've got Clarkie suspended. So when Clarkie got sent off, I was thinking, don't get booked, Ben, because we'd have had no fallbacks for our next game. But, you know, and you've just got to use the squad now. We'll have a look at how we go about it. But Ethan's got to step up to the play he's we try, tried to be a bit kid gloves with him and get him socially into the group and up for it and you know it might he might get his opportunity now over over the coming games uh, it is a tough run isn't it the, the three away games coming up within a week long trips as well um how what are you your sort of feelings looking towards those no, they're all tough every game's tough i thought this was going to be really tough you know i'd have been happy if we won this one nil um they were a big strong powerful team in good form i knew they would try and work hard to stop us playing our game um, and that's how it appeared in the first half. But you know, I said to the lads at half time, stop making it about how we try and piece together our patterns to break them down and sometimes mix the game up and say, all right, well, we're getting behind you and we're running behind you and we're running back up the second balls because the moment you get them out of shape with something different is the moment you might end up creating your chances. So I'm delighted, absolutely delighted with the win.